This screencast is a short introduction to Chapter 5, Cost Behavior. In order to better understand cost behavior, we frequently reformat a gap income statement in terms of a variable costing or contribution margin type income statement. This diagram shows the process. In order to estimate cost, we often want to organize the cost information into a more convenient form. And what that typically means is dividing the cost into those costs that are fixed and those costs that are variable. Here's an example where if you were to do the accounting the way it's done for generally accepted accounting principles, you might not make the right decision. The easiest way to see the correct answer is to look at the problem from a point of view of incremental revenues and incremental costs. This diagram shows pictorially what happens during the cost estimation process. So the idea is to try to come up with an estimate of the cost curve, which is the curved blue line. But in order to do that, we start with the data, which are the red dots, to estimate the orange line, which is the linear cost function. From the linear cost function, we're, we will get the slope, which is our estimate of variable cost, and an intercept, which is our estimate of the fixed costs. The two methods actually used to get those cost estimates are high-low and regression analysis. Here is some data we can use to show how this works. One problem here is that we have two independent variables, output and setups, and one dependent variable costs. For the high-low method, we can only use one independent variable, so we will use output and ignore setups. We choose the high output, July, and the low output, June, and once we've had the high and the low chosen, we can estimate the variable cost, in this case $6.77. Once we have the variable cost, we can then estimate the fixed cost, which is 51656 Once we have estimates of variable costs per unit and fixed costs, we can make predictions about future costs based on these parameters. We could take the same data and run it through a linear regression, and you'll notice that we get somewhat different estimates. Plus, with regression, we can have more than one explanatory or independent variable. So that's the introduction. Next, go study.